Hello guys, welcome back to my Kingdom of Amla series. This is my Platinum walkthrough. And for those of you that have found this video looking for something overpowered, because I'm also gonna advertise this specific video as how to get overpowered early. If you come here to get overpowered early, then this video will show you how to make the build, but you really wanna watch my two videos before this to show you how to prep for it. And for those of you that are watching my Platinum walkthrough, this is part three, of course. So yeah, if you're here to get overpowered guys, you need to watch the two before this really and this one and then that will get you overpowered. It's probably about 90 minutes work altogether. Um, but yeah, for Platinum guys, part three and to begin with, uh, so we're going to warp to Ratha, Ratha, just going to fast travel to there. And every single thing I do here, whether you're here to get overpowered or if you're following my Platinum walkthrough, you need to do everything I do specifically and in the same order and you not do anything else out of order because Certain things we do here, if you do them in a different order, or a certain potion is worn off, or you do it at a different moment, it won't work. So you've got to be really careful here. So try and follow me very, very closely, guys. I'm going to try and go through it slowly, because there's going to be a lot of menuing. Going through a lot of menus in this um, part. So after warping to a third, after that cutscene, we're going to warp to the moon camp. Yeah, you're going to warp to here next, guys. And by the way, what I'm going to try and do is... Um, I'm going to put all this information in the in the um, description, guys, in the comments. So there'll be a step-by-step -step guide in the comments. Not fully detailed. It'll just break down every step just in case it can be difficult to keep track of exactly what I'm explaining here along the way. Right, so we're at Moon Camp, guys. So first we're going to loot this hidden object. Then we're going to come down here to the merchant. Merchant just down here. Oh no, she's not here. Just look for the coins on the map. Depending on what time of day it is, she may be moving around. Here she is. Gone for a little wander. Go into shop. Go into sell. And you want to sell Kellerax sword. Make sure you've got that Wayfarer Destiny equipped. Because that's why it sells for that amount. So sell that. And then also, come into your misc. And you see these ones with the red hand. That means they're stolen. Sell all of them gems. It should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should be six of them, guys. And you'll get a trophy. Five finger discount, that's for selling a stolen item. And then after you sold them, go into buy, go into sold items and buy the six gems back. So buy them six gems back. That's it, then leave the shop. And next guys, we're gonna warp all the way back to the start area, go hot. Yeah, the reason we sold them stolen items and bought them back because the stolen items, only certain NPCs will take them off your hands. But if you sell them to the ones that can and then buy them back, then it just becomes a normal item and then you can do whatever you can, do whatever you want with that, just like you can with a normal item. Right, so here guys, first gonna get a hidden treasure, the well. There we go. Then we're gonna come into our inventory and we're going to junk everything. Uh, not everything, um, I'll explain it to you. So weapon wise, press triangle and everything's put into junk. You can sell this if you want to. Basically, I'm junking all the RNG stuff which you may have. So whatever I explain to you is going to work for everybody. I don't want to rely on RNG equipment. So junk all your weapons. Same with the armor. Just junk it all. Don't worry. By the time we get to combat again, we would have crafted some new gear. So don't worry. Yeah, so junk everything, guys. Accessories. Junk them as well. Consumables. You can keep them. Items. I'm going to junk my components. I'm going to jump my reagents. Yeah, I'm junking everything, guys. It's all random. And all of this. There you go. And then come down onto books and scrolls. And you want to read the skill book, Sagecraft. Yes, read it. And then, so make sure you read it. And then junk that. And then read the Alpha, alpha Nafi recruitment letter. Read that. And then junk that as well. And that's everything we're going to junk. And once you have, come into junk. And you'll see it all here. Press square to destroy it all. There we go, destroyed all my weapons, armor, accessories, some items, and that's it. Right, once you've done that, guys, uh, come over, where are we? Yeah, come over to the special chest just here. Open it. Very important, this is your first time opening the chest, but it should be, as long as you've been following my videos before this. Now I take all the items which have the before at the start of the name. So anything with the, T-H-E, at the start of the name, take it. We do not take anything else because remember inventory space is limited. So anything with the at the start of the title. Yeah, I could go a lot quicker here guys, but I'm just trying to explain it all to you. So there we go. That's all the items with the. 
And then once you've got all them, come all the way down to the bottom. Now do not take the compass of fate, whatever you do, but take the el elixir of inspiration and take the dowsing rod. And do not take anything else, just them ones that I've mentioned, guys. There you go. And because that's a special chest, you'll get them two twists of fate, twist of fate cards. Afterwards, they'll be like what you're just reading now. It's like a permanent bonus. You can actually view them in here they are. So these are like permanent bonuses. And you can get them throughout the game. Right, once you're doing that, guys, we're gonna come over to Aten, which is over here. Now, if you've been following my earlier videos, which you should have been, you'll know you'll have all these areas discovered. So then first two videos was prep for this. Then once we've got this build going after this video, part four, we'll be cracking on with the main story and everything. Right, so um, we're gonna come over here and into this building. And if you want a bit of a, a teaser, the amount of damage you're gonna do after this build, one dagger hit, one hit by your dagger will do about 2K damage, one arrow will do about 500. And a magic, like a strong magic spell, will do probably about 5K damage. So you're gonna to do tons of damage after this. So talk to this dude. Askul Thorin and um, shop. We're going to come into consumables and we're going to purchase purchase only these things that I advise. The jeweled Shalila or something. But make sure you only purchase one guys. Very important. Only one. And then come down a bit more and merchants command. Great merchants command. Purchase one of them as well. Very important. You only purchase one of them that I mentioned. Once you've done that, come outside. And now we're going to warp to the little village to the north, Emea, or something it's called, something like that. Yeah, be a lot of loading screens in this video. Probably half this half this video is going to be loading screens. This is why we need it on the PS5. So it's instant. PS5 version. Where is it? I want one. Civic so releases with the Fates One DLC, which just been they've just brought out. They released some news on it actually. Um, apparently few weeks away from being polished up or something like that right once you're here guys in Emir come into Edmure home right and once you're in here we're going to come into our inventory destinies and we're going to unequip the wayfarer so we're just going to equip the fateless one destiny come over to this dude uh, what's his name anchor hello anchor Edmure skip and then um, what we want to do now it's very important to do this in the same order Buy the Paladin's Gem, buy that, then go into sell, bought items and then sell the Paladin's Gem. It says two there, we only bought one, because there's a little glitch with gems. If you if you buy a gem, then you, it lets you sell it back, but it lets you sell your gems back at the price you bought it for, so you get tons more money for it. So we're going to sell them now, the Paladin's Gem, there we go, sell them both, then come over back to buy, misc. Come to the gem of hemorrhaging, buy that, and also buy the gem of clotting. Come in to sell, bought items again, and sell the gem of hemorrhaging, both of them, and gem of clotting. You see my money building up there? I've got 60,000 now. Come back into Misk, come down to restoring gem, buy that one next, and then sell it. The reason we had to do it in that order is because you don't quite have enough money to begin with. And there we go. Should I've ended up at about 73k. And then once you've done that, guys, we're going to come out, go back to our inventory, and we're going to equip the Wayfarer Destiny again. So equip that again. If you notice, that gives plus one to all skills. Equip that again, and then come into inventory. By the way, if you want any more info on what I'm doing, because I'm not going to go into great details and everything, so I'll be here all day, ask me in the comments, guys. Any questions about anything we're doing here, just lob a comment, and I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, within a good time frame. Hopefully it don't take too long. Sometimes I do take a little bit of time to reply to comments, but I always try to get to them instantly if I can. Right, sorry guys, sorry, little edit there if you notice. Bloody somebody's knocking at the door. Yeah, so um, where was we? <laughs> yeah, where, where, where was we? Yeah, any questions guys, ask me in the comments. Right, so we've come into accessories. Uh, sorry, consumables, come into consumables. And you want to use the merchant's command. Use that. Now, what these next few steps, you need to make sure you quit, guys, because this merchant's command, it lasts for about a minute or so. So you need to be quick. We need to do these next few actions before it wears off. And you know what we need to do, because I'll mention it when we've done everything. So make a save here, probably, if you want, um, just in case. And then we're going to use the Elixir of Inspiration. 
renew stat as well that give you 500 xp and once you've done that guys quickly come out and quickly talk to him when you're in the menus the time won't count down on the potions so get into the menus quick right shop sell we're going to sell all these weapons all the weapons all the apparel sell it all go and get rid of it come into misc sell the gem of expansion the revitalizing gem what's that jewel bracelet and you can get rid of that as well i don't even know i've got that in case in fact i'm going to junk that guys and um, because i think that's a bit rng yeah so all of that guys and then once you have done and you want to go into the buy tab yeah the buy tab now and now you want to purchase you're going to purchase lambent fire shards times four lambent ice shards times four uh, magic lambent magic shard times four and cloudy physical shard times eight there we go so that's what should be remaining afterwards that's everything you want to buy from here guys and then once you've done that Goodbye. yes i'm just gonna um where's that jeweled bracelet yeah i'm gonna scrap that yeah i didn't notice that before i need to get rid of it right and once you've done that guys leave the house remember that potion is going to be counting down now it's going to be very quick remember it does pause on loading screens or when you're in the in the shop menu or when you're in the inventory screen so whenever you're running around just make sure you're nice and quick doing these next few steps so once you've done all that come out of the house quickly open the map and you want to warp to this uh no this one mel agler warp to this place now this is taking me a lot longer than what i thought but I can't, if I do this quick guys, you're not going to see what I'm doing. Because when I tried following some guys that were speedrunning and I, <laughs> I had no clue what they are doing. I would play the video in really slow time, see what they are doing. So um, hopefully you don't have to, hopefully. Uh, right, once you're in here, come and talk to this guy, Hello. Durant okay, Alugus. And go into his shop. And now we're going to buy. We're going to buy all of these shards he's got except for the lightning shard so pristine fire pristine ice not not the pristine lightning do not buy that but buy pristine magic pristine physical pristine poison and pristine protection buy all the pristines basically except for the lightning right once you've done that let's get out quickly If you wait a minute, you will see the potion appear on screen. Normally when you move, when you change areas, it takes a moment for the potion meter to appear on screen. Uh, so once I'm out here, if I just hold on for a couple of seconds, should show up. There it is, you see, that's a potion meter. Right, and next guys, we're going to be warping to refer. Yeah, so warp here next. Now it's only a few things we need to do here. Reference to potion, and then we can no longer need to worry about it. So warp here, the reason we came here earlier on was because during that cutscene, when you first come here for the first time, your potion was still ticked down. That's why we had to come here just to see that cutscene and then walk away. Come into this building here, the Pride of Predale or something it was called. Remember, you need to be very quick guys before that potion wears off. There's one more um, room we need to go in yet. Talk to this girl, what's her name? Marissa Kedir. Talk to her. And what we want to buy from her, guys, is small Azerite blades times one. So one of them. Greater everlasting string times three. Times three. Come down and then you want greater damaging fulcrum times one. And you also want a greater flamed hilt times one. And that's all we want from her. Turn around and talk to this guy over here. And what we want from this guy we want, come all the way down, you want greater sailing rivets, you want all three of them, so buy all three. There we go. Once you've bought them, make sure you've bought everything that I just said, guys, come out here. Now you quickly got to get to one more merchant before that potion wears off. So come out here, we're going to sprint to the next room, and we're going to quickly get that before it wears off. Yeah, I've got all these all these steps, I've got them all wrote down, so um, what I do, I write it all up in the, um, in the description, guys, of the video. And if I don't quite have space there, I'll um, lob it in a pinned comment as well. But I, yeah, I'll try and list all the uh, steps, just in case you do miss them. Yeah, come over here, talk to this guy. No, not the altar. No, not the altar. Quick, for the potion wears off. This yeah, talk to this guy, Maeve Arigal. 
yeah talk to him and what you want to do this guy um shop and um buy and you want to buy from him you want to buy the pristine fire shards all three of them and the lambent ice shards all six of them there you go that's all you want to buy you don't need that potion no more guys you can let it wear off so you should end up with about 86k about 86k as long as you've got a buff 80k you should be okay for this next bit after buying them leave him well leave his shop come into inventory and consumables and you want, now you want to use a greater jeweled shilila <laughs> shilila i've no idea what it's called that yeah you want to use that and what that's going to do basically what these potions doing guys they're increasing our skills like this they're increasing our skills that's what they're doing as you can see now our sage craft is on level eight and that's where we need it to craft a epic gem so once you use that potion now we're going to interact with the sage craft altar here and we're going to come into craft gems we're going to go into strengthen shards and basically just strengthen everything now you can't strengthen pristine so just keep highlighting everyone and pressing x to strengthen like this basically when you combine you'll get that trophy diamond in the rough when you combine two of a cloudy you'll get a lambent and when you combine two of a lambent you'll get a pristine but you cannot combine pristine so pristine is the highest rated shard you can get just do all this well wow, i thought this video would go much quicker but um yeah i hope you guys don't mind me taking my time to explain all this right so after doing all that you should end up with these three pristine physical six pristine ice three pristine magic and six pristine fire after doing that craft gems and come down into epic gems this is what we need that potion for while that potion is active you can craft epic gems but we only need to craft one so come into epic gems and you want to use two physical pristine two pristine physical and that should make a gem of the subjugator if you make any mistakes here guys with the gems you're gonna to have to reload a save so just make sure you're making manual saves regularly guys in case you make any mistakes so two pristine fiscal epic gem and that will make a gem of the subjugator there we go you'll get a trophy for that romance in the gem after that come back out go back into craft gems and then go into armor gems and you want to combine the ice and the fire so pristine ice pristine fire and that will make a gem of the shelter and do that six times because that's how many we have and you'll end up with six gem of shelters so ice and fire so there's one ice fire there's two ice fire three four five six yeah you'll end up with six of these guys and after you've done that come back out and unequip your destiny now your wayfarer yep unequip that so just choose fate this one and now you need to wait for that um black uh, sorry the merchant potion to wear off so if you come into effects you'll know for sure but you can tell by the meter on the right the meter's disappeared it's worn off come into effects yeah you can see here so all that's active now is the sagecraft so that merchant's command potion is now wore off because what we want we want our merchantile to be at level one like it is here yeah will not that be at level one right and um once that's happened bench, if you like. come back into the shop guys and now you want to buy gem of shelter and then go into sell bought items and sell them all and look at that it's give us half a million well then come back into buy misc and now what we want to buy guys we want to buy all the pristine physical shards so that's three of them we're going to buy pristine poison shards times three we want to buy lambent magic shards times six and we want to buy lambent protection shard times six as well after that come back out Goodbye. interact with sagecraft altar again craft gems and strengthen just keep combining everyone that you can now yeah just keep combining them and that's what you should um, end up with for protection six magic four poison four physical right afterwards come back out craft come into weapon gem and combine protection with the poison so protection poison and that would make a gem of aptitude so do that four times protection and poison protection and poison and there we go got four of them 
and then afterwards come back out craft utility gem this time and now you want to combine magic with the physical and that should make a gem of radiance so magic with physical there we go magic physical magic physical and magic physical you should end up with two magic shards remaining but don't worry we'll be using them a bit later so afterwards come back out talk to this dude again Maeve, whatever his name is, shop, then buy the gem of amplitude, come in to sell, bought items and then sell them all, and um, I've got 875,000 now, and once you've done that guys, right that's all we're doing here for now, we're going to head out in my pants, yeah to make sure you go out the door in your pants, and um, wow 25 minutes already, shit, we're about, <laughs> we're about halfway through setting this up, Right, and we're going to turn right, come up these steps, and we're just going to buy these books. These books are not required for the build, but you need these for the platinum. So if you're watching this video to get overpowered, you can ignore these books. These are for platinum. Come and talk to this guy, Owey Ness. Welcome, talk to him. Shop, misc, buy every single book he's got. He's got 17 altogether. Yeah, buy them all. That's it. Come back out. And once you've bought them all, come into inventory, items, and you want to read every single book read every single book and then junk it as well but don't discard it we're going to sell it back to him as junk so read circle junk read circle junk and basically just do that to all 17. that's a trophy for reading 50 books that's why we're doing this if you're wondering you can read it all if you want don't let don't tell me what it says in the comments i don't want to know <laughs> but yeah good luck if you want to read all that guys take you fucking ages just make sure you don't go too fast. So you want to make sure you've read every single one. It's not a big problem, I mean, if you do mess up. Um, the reason we're selling them back to him is so they're there if we need them later. But um, you do, there's plenty of books in the game and you only need to read 50 for a trophy. But you can't just read the same one, that doesn't work. Yeah, so I'm just reading, pressing circle and junking, going to the next one. Once you junk them, come over to him, go to a shop, and you see at the bottom there, triangle to sell all your junk. Sold 17 junked items. There we go, books. I've got a bit of money back, not much. There we go, so that's 17 books we've read. After that, come back out the door he came in. And we're going, we're going to be getting a few trainers in this video as well. So it's not all about getting the build ready. Along the way, we're just going to get a few trainers, which is just going to give us a bit of a head start with a few things going forward. I won't get every single trainer in the game, it's just in this video where we're doing a lot of, we're getting our build ready. I'm just going to get a few trainers along the way. And a few, um, we're going to get a few backpack upgrades as well, which extend your inventory. But like I said, I won't be getting every single one. Um, I'll let you do that if you want to get more. So come over to this room now, over here. So we went up the steps and we come over to this room. A house wing giraffes, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, in here is going to be a persuasion trainer. So just sprint to the back in your underwear. And um, to this guy over here, there we go, Magessa or something like that, training and say, yes, I want to train. I'm ready to learn. There we go. Apprentice became a Jedi. Right, so we learn. We just did persuasion training. So we just got an extra persuasion skill point. Come back out after. And now we're going to be warping, guys, to the House of Valor. So over to the map. And um, here we go, over to here guys, warp there. And we're gonna be going to sleep in a minute. Yeah, it's gonna be bedtime in a minute. So, um, yeah, I <laughs> hope you're tired. Yeah, so we're coming over here now to the shop first. And we're gonna to talk to this lady, Thora. Oh, hello Thora, wall string. Shop, and with her, you want to buy improved so first guys one main thing first equip come into destiny and equip the wayfarer it'll just make the ch it'll just make the prices a little bit cheaper so wayfarer make sure you equip that destiny and talk to thor after that shop you want to buy improved damaging bindings you want to buy all four of them and you want to buy improved damaging grip all four of them as well after you've done that leave her see you later thor come over and talk to ina longnose shop and you want to buy the greater experience boosters just buy all three of them right and after doing that we're just going to sleep for 20 days on this bed over here which isn't occupied i think everyone sleeps on this bed 
Uh, so I'm on day 5. So after 20 days, I should be on day 25. So just keep pressing X and uh, moving over to 24, guys. Like so. So I'm going to go quiet for a minute. So I'm trying to count. I think that's 4. Is it 5? I think that's 5. 7. Yeah, sorry about the silence. I need to count. 8. <laughs> That's 10, I think. Yeah, so 20 times. I'll explain why in a minute. <laughs> 12. Oh, no. Yeah. Fifteen, I think. It doesn't matter if you go one over. Just make sure you're not under. 16. 17. 19, 20. I'll try to explain why Julian X loading screen. Right, once you've slept for 20 days, so I was on day 5, I'm on day 25 now. So you can see in the middle of the screen, that tells you that what day it is and what time it is. But unfortunately, it doesn't tell you if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think it's Sunday today. Um, talk to Ina Longnose again after that. And buy experience boosters again. Buy all three again. And then come over to Thora. And now you want to buy greater damage and bindings again, but only buy three this time. Only buy three of them. There we go. After you've done that, we're going to warp back to Rather, guys. So back to Rather. Yeah, basically, when you buy something from an event from a, a shop or some, it works with plants as well and crates. After so many days, they respawn, so you can rest at a bed and respawn them quicker. Basically, that's what we're doing. And depending on the rarity of the item. Or how basically how, how valuable it is sort of depends on how long it takes so we're going to come into here the reason we have sleep for 20 is because that gem of amplitude takes about 20 days to respawn but most of the stuff like pristine shards they take normally about seven days I think Lambert's like five something like that but we have sleep for 20 for that gem of amplitude I think a gem of shelter is about 13 days I think to make that respawn um, yeah, we come over to this guy again, and um, we spoke to him earlier, if you remember, and we basically want to buy Greater Sailing Rivet times one. So just buy one of these. We already have three, but we want to buy one more because we need four in total of them. And everything we buy now, guys, it's all gonna... You'll know why we're buying it all nearer the end of the video, when we get to the point where we finally sit down and start to do some crafting. Well, blacksmithing. Right, come around here and um, we're going back into this room now with a Sagecraft altar. Right, and this is last visit in here for now. And you want to come over to this guy, talk to him. Now they talk me. Yeah, there we go. Come into shop. And now what you want to do, guys, you want to buy Pristine Fire Shard times three. Pristine Fiscal Shard times three. Pristine Poison Shard times three. Lambent Ice Shard times six, buy all of them. But Lambent Magic, only buy two of these, so only buy two of these. Yep, and then Lambent Protection, buy every single one. Right, and once you've done that, guys, get a trade for their big spender, I guess, because we spent so much money. I think it's 500k, is it? Yeah, come over here, or is it 200k, something like that. No, we need to interrupt the Sagecraft altar, there we go. Make sure you got the Wayfarer Destiny Equip, which you should have anyway. Yeah, come over here and um, we're going to strengthen all our sort of lambents now. Strengthen them all. There we go. So all we've got left is pristine. There we go. So this is what you should have, guys. Three protection, three magic, three ice, three poison, three physical, and three fire shard. That's what we've got. Afterwards, come into craft gems, weapon gem, and you want to combine protection with poison to make gem of aptitude. And do that three times. Protection. Poison, protection, poison. There we go. That was in the weapon, the weapon gems. Next, come into armor gem, and we're going to combine the ice with the fire, which will make a gem of shelter. We're going to do that three times. So ice, fire, and ice and fire. Three times. That's three gem of shelters. And last, guys, last things to do in this room: utility gems. I'm going to combine magic with physical to make gem of radiance. I'm going to do that three times. There we go. Um, all together now, we should have seven Gem of Radiance, but we need that for our build. After you've done that, 
Um, talk to him again. I have gems and shards of all kinds. Goodbye. Sorry, first guys, first before you talk to him, unequip your destiny. Uh, yeah, unequip Wayfarer and equip the Fateless One, just because we do not want that plus one to all skills for this. Yeah, talk to him. Skip, shop, and what we want to do now, we want to buy Gem of Amplitude. We're going to buy Gem of Shelter. Then we're going to come into Sell. We're going to come all the way down to bought items. I'm going to sell all this. There we go. You should end up with about 1.2k. Uh, sorry, 1.2 mil almost. 1.2 million and oh, yeah goodbye. that's what we're doing here guys so once you've done that come into destiny equip the wayfarer there you go equip that right and we've done all in here guys right let's go and purchase a few things we need to go we're going to put visit a few different areas now purchase some things we need for our build and then finally we can begin the blacksmith process so come out here and um come all the way down here a lot of these things i am i am going a bit over the top with this build if i'm honest yeah i'm going a little bit over the top but i just want to give you room for basically room for error and i want to make it as good as it can be just in case and if you do run into trouble or anything like that yeah so basically this build this early in the game this is probably the strongest it can be but also i'm going to try and give you some defense in the build as well so it's not just power, it's not just strength. I'm trying to make it so you don't take as much damage as well. So come and talk to this woman. What was it? Gel fine? Nurgy fire? Gel fine, Nurgy fire. Yeah. Talk to her. And uh, we want to buy accessory. Ring of light. The reason we're buying this is because it gives you extra damage during the daytime. Ring of light. I'll explain daytime to you later on. Daytime is basically when the sun comes out. But I'll explain it later. You also want to buy master face walk from her. Buy two of them. And also buy the Prismere lockpicks. And also buy the lockpicks. 24 of them. That's it. Them lockpicks will come in handy later. And I brought the Master Face Walks. Save them until much later on in the game. We might not need them yet. But for the, there's a trophy for killing 25 enemies via stealth. And if I can't find a good spot later. That might that will make that, that a lot easier. Because you can go invisible for a minute or so. And get stealth kills really quick. And once you come out, guys, we're going to warp now to Odessa, which is all the way to the south. Here we go in the Odessa area. So Odessa, warp all the way down here, guys. Yeah, we move, we're moving between different areas now, just collecting a few things. We've done most of the um, gem and shard crafting. We've finished all the gem and shard crafting at this point in the game anyway. Yeah, so you get another little cutscene here like you did in Ruther. And once you get control back of um, me and my pretty underwear, my little grey pants, yeah, sprint down here and um, you get a sort of automatic conversation. It doesn't matter what choice you pick, by the way. It doesn't matter what choice you pick here. Just pick any choice. It's up to you. I'm just going to go through them quickly. And um, he will give you the, the villa key. Um, what that is, basically, you see this place. These icons for like a solid white color they're like your house and you basically could get like a stash in there this one opens sort of automatically when you come into this area but normally the others they have sort of like a quest related to them to unlock them it just gives you like a little like um little storage box but it's not like a infinite storage box um but it's there in case you want a bit more space right so come down here and when you come down here guys keep an eye out for you see these training icons There'll be a guy sometimes wandering about here. If you see him wandering about, go over to him and buy the dispelling trainer. He's a dispelling trainer. He'll give you the dispelling skill. But if you can't find him, he's normally in this room here. The Arcadium, which we're going into in a minute anyway. But I'll just check one more time. Sometimes she just magically pops up. No, she's probably in here. So you want to come into the Arcadium anyway. But like I say, keep an eye out for that trainer who's wandering about on the streets. If you see him, go and buy dispelling. And he's not in here either, so perhaps he just left. Um, but I'm gonna, while we're in the Arcadium, I'm gonna come over to Idria Door Selly. I'm gonna buy Blacksmith's Craft. I'm gonna buy one of these guys, Greater Blacksmith's Craft. Buy one of them. Leave the chat afterwards, and then come and talk to Athesa Lily. And you wanna buy all the books from her, 16 altogether. Buy every single one. 
and just going to do exactly the same like we did before. Inventory, we're going to read every book and then we're going to junk it. So read, circle, junk. I'm just going to keep doing that with all these books. And with M17 we've just read earlier, that should give us um, about 33 books. So all you need is about 17 books to read. And I think we read three in the tutorial area, didn't we? So... Yeah, just do that with all 16 guys of these. Fey history, by the time I get to Fey history, there's always a long loading icon on that one. It takes a while to load that book. It's quite a big book, this one, many pages to it. And the gnome, find out all about the gnomish history. There we go, once you've done all that, talk to her again and sell them all back to her via the junk. There we go, sell all junk, 16, great. And that's what we're doing in this in this room for now. Right, the trainer still isn't in here, so I'm gonna come back out. The trainer, he, he basically wanders around this area. He's not always in the same spot. There are other trainers which are in the same spot, but the one we want here at the moment is, he's still not here, so he's obviously in a different room. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to here now. Domus Politicia. We're gonna come over to here. And in here, we're gonna buy a item which we want for later. And we're also gonna buy backpack guys. So come over here. He's not in this room. I'm not sure all the rooms that he appears in actually. Yeah, come and talk to this guy, Sinesia Machit. He's a merchant icon on the map. And you wanna buy the overwhelming medallion of shelter. Buy that, you also wanna buy the backpack. And you also wanna buy all the lockpick guys. Yeah, so buy all of them. And then come back out. Yeah, we need that trainer. Right, I'm gonna get this Eric now. Like I say, you can normally be wandering around here. You may find him in here. But for me, he's gonna be down here right now. It depends on the time of day, basically. And I like to get this guy. I do like to get this guy before we move on. So I'm just gonna make sure I get him. So um, yeah, he's down on the sort of lower level of the um, city on the aisles for me at the moment at this time of day and the time of day is 12 30. so at about 12 30 pm you'll find him down here you'll find him down here yeah but later on a bit later on in the day that's normally when you find him uh, wandering around the streets and i'm not sure exactly what time he pops up in the arcadium but yeah for me right now he's over here in this building the forum yeah he's in here guys in the forum so I'm going to come in here. There is another trainer in here, but we don't want that trainer just yet because it's a high level trainer as well. But there's a, that, that's the other trainer we need for later. But this is this guy, Eric Porth. So he's over here. Here he is, I found him. Found you hiding, mate. There he is, training, dispelling. So make sure you get him to teach you how to dispel. And then dispel him for hiding in the little stupid corner right at the bottom of the map. Yeah, once you've got Eric Porth, the dispelling trainer from him, come back outside, guys, so we can fast travel. And now we're going to fast travel to Iron Fast Keep, which is just over here. Yeah, so we're going to fast travel to Iron Fast Keep next. Here, we're going to buy improved rigid lining times one, and we're also going to buy repair kit times 10, just so we've got a nice little stock of the, uh, repair kits. And about the day, by the way, guys, daytime is 6 a.m. till 9 p.m. Nighttime is 9 p.m. till 6 a.m. in this game. Yeah, so when we get them, when we've got them gems or um, perks and it says 20% damage uh, in the daytime, it means between the hours of 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. And to change time, all you need to do is warp around. Fast traveling will change time by a few hours. It does go past very quick. Or you can rest in the bed, but normally fast traveling to a few spots will normally speed the time quite a bit. Just make sure you're always in the daytime to maximize our build. Because at night time, our damage will drop off quite a lot once you, the build is ready. Right, so coming to the shop, um, and you want to buy, like I said, we want to buy the improved rigid lining but only one of these, so improved rigid lining one, and buy a stack of repair kits, there we go. Stack of repair kits, you got them for later, just in case you need them. And then we're gonna come back out, and now we're gonna warp to Helm Guard Keep. Helm Guard Keep, we're gonna get some improved armor trim, times three. When it comes to these armored components I'm using, it's because 
I mean, I've always tried to go for damaging or damage reduction. So anything that increases our damage to enemies or anything that decreases damage that enemies do to us. But in some components, there's not really anything available like that this early in the game. So I've just decided to go with armor, certain armor basically. But yeah, gonna warp here next guys, Helm Guard Keep, fast travel over here. Yeah, like I say, we're gonna buy improved armor trim times three from here. We're almost done, almost done guys. I've got four pages of notes for this and we're onto my last page. So we're almost there. Yeah, so come with Helm Guard Keep. It's a shame you can't fast travel from uh, inside a building. Shame you have to go outside. I mean, it, it's logic, isn't it? Obviously, you can't warp when you're in a building, so you're gonna hit the roof, of course. I mean, everybody knows that. Uh, come over here, talk to Breed. Shop, and yeah, improved armor trim by three of these guys, three of them. And that's all we want. Yeah, that's all I want, piss off. <laughs> I'm leaving. Now we're gonna fast travel back to Emir. Because we're gonna, from Emir, we're gonna buy a accessory, which is gonna give us 6% extra XP um, in the game. We're gonna, there's a trainer there, we're gonna buy a lot of pigs, and we're also gonna unbind, which basically resets all your leveling, which is what we're gonna to have to do to do the blacksmithing. So warp to Emir next, guys. Yeah, so um, Emir, we're gonna, yeah, Noble's Band of Growth is what we buy. Um, we do the um, alchemy training here. There's an alchemy trainer. The trainers, it, it depends. There's some trainers which you must be skill level for that particular um, category between zero to three, for example, or you have to be between four and six. Um, but yeah, talk to Molly Janik. Hello, Molly Janik. How are you doing today, my love? Right. Yeah, salute you too. Yeah, buy the alchemy. I'm so bored. Cheeky gal. Am I that boring to talk to? Come on. Yeah, come over here next and uh, talk to Han, to Tron. And uh, yeah, it's a funny looking guy. Looks like Zelda, a different skin color, I guess. Uh, by Noble's Band of Growth. Uh, sorry, not Zelda, Link, that's what I meant. Noble's Band of Growth. Um, and you also want to buy a lockpick. Yeah, and buy the lockpicks, and that's what we want to buy from him, guys. Yeah, but this guy's a little bit more sort of um, green, isn't it? sort of, I guess. Yeah, then talk to this person over here, Fate Weaver, and you want to press the square to unbind your destiny, and choose yes, confirm, reset. And once you've done that, guys, do not do anything. Do not change all your skill points, just leave it. And you know where the Fate Weaver is, because it's like this, the icon is sort of like the pack of cards on the map. Once you've done that, guys, come outside, and next, we're going to warp to Brunath because there's a trainer close by. This is not a village or anything. It's just like a, it's a cave, but it's right next to a trainer. We're just gonna get a lockpick training done as well. So over here, and Brunath, yes, over here. And yeah, just to the south from this fast travel point, it's a trainer. He's been abandoned. He's, well, I guess he's he's homeless, ain't he, this guy? Yeah, you're gonna talk to this homeless trainer over here. He's a lock picking. I bet nobody wants him. I bet he's been banished from all the villages. Yeah, watch out for these perps. Obviously, these are the only enemies gonna have come across naked. They shouldn't shoot you if you're unarmed and you're naked. Should be, I wouldn't be very honorable off them, but you never know with enemies. Yeah, talk to Thorfald, Ulfsson. There you go, training, lock picking plus one. Yes, please. Thank you, Vervolt. I'll put these lock picking tricks to good use, don't worry. Right, after that, we're gonna warp to Shield Ring Keep, guys, which is down here. Yeah, so warp to here next, Shield Ring Keep. Here, we're just gonna buy Birch Limb times one, and we're gonna do the Blacksmith Trainer. Yeah, so come inside, Shield Ring Keep. These are all fast travel points which should be unlocked. Yeah, and go right. You always seem to have to go right to find the merchants. I'm not sure that's just a coincidence. Uh, yeah, you always have to go right to find the merchants. So come over here and um, we'll talk to the blacksmith first and do some training. Right, teach me all you know about making awesome weapons. My friend, Holder, Rod Rock. There we go, thank you. Don't worry, I'll make some 
legendary items for that. Yeah, so learn that training. And come over to this guy. Oi. I want to buy something. Shop. And all we want to buy is the birch limb. This one here. Just buy one of them. Birch limb by one. Basically, that is a frame for a bow and arrow. Well, it is a bow, basically. A bow is a frame. That's what they are. And then um, once you've done that, just come back out. And now we're going to warp to the House of Ballads because there is a persuasion trainer there. We want to talk to him. And we're going to persuade him to teach us how to be better at persuading people. Yeah, I'm going to persuade him to persuade me how to persuade people better. So, map, House of Ballads over here. Yeah, after... Everything we're doing here guys, I'll probably not be doing much Fat main story because we're doing most of it in this part when we unlock the um, Yasa or whatever it's called. Is it a silent Y? I don't know um, But we unlock a big city soon soon after a few more main story and there's a lot in there Which we'll get but other than that place that big city we will not be really doing anything else other than main story Unless we need to re uh, do our build again, but hopefully we won't need to until we sort of completed the game. So talk to Alova, training, and she's going to teach us how to persuade. Again. She's going to increase our skill persuading. There we go. My rigorous persuading people. And uh, once you learn that training from her, persuasion. We're going to warp to Gorhart down here. Yeah, warp to Gorhart. Right, and what we're going to do here. Now remember this place. The potions we're going to buy in a minute, they restock after three to five days. I can't recall exactly, but if you want them to restock quickly, just walk to a bed. Remember, there's a bed at House of Valor if you need one. I'll show you some other beds later. But yeah, there's a bed at House of Valor close by. And um, you can just rest there for a few times. Come back here. Um, basically, this woman here, Nanny Hamry, she's got tons of minor health potions. So, and they're quite cheap. So come down here. And she always has like 24. So buy all the minor healing potions. And buy all the minor mana potions. So all you need to do. If you need to heal. Just press left on the D-pad. If you need to heal mana. Press right on the D-pad. And you can keep a good stock there. Obviously later on. We will be using shrines a lot more. But it's always handy. To have good stock of ha uh, health and mana potions on you. Um, so if you ever get low. Just come back to her. Buy another stock of them another stack and um, keep going right and um, next we're going to come over here into um, the corner shop we're coming in here just to buy a backpack and not but like I said I, I was going to show you a few backpacks um, but there are a few other backpacks and what I get but I'll leave them to you guys if you want to search search them down and get them so buy this backpack and buy all the lock picks afterwards come outside after this guys, we're going straight to the house where we build our blacksmithing gear. So we are almost done. Almost done. Wow, this is taking me longer than what I thought, but it's a lot quicker if you just go straight through it quickly, but it's hard for me to explain it all to you if I go through the menus really quick. So come over to special deliveries chest. Do not take anything else except for the compass of fate. Yes, take the compass off fate. And that's all you want to take, nothing else. Save all them things for later. They don't sell for any. The things we've left in that box, they don't sell for anything. But they come in useful for a very specific trophy later on. So leave them all in there for now. And then come over to you. And we're in the inn. Forget the name now. Talk to Arnick. He may be here. He may be sitting down. Training and learn detect hidden. Plus one. And there we go, more training. And that's all the training we're going to do, guys. That's all the training okay. I'm going to give you. Yeah, come back outside. And now we're going to walk to Dyden Hill. Yeah, we're good. That's it. We're done, guys. We're ready. Just got to buy a few things from the guy where we craft. So, Dyden Hill, which is here. So, walk to Dyden Hill. Yeah, the reason we come here is because next to the blacksmith altar... He sells, the guy sells a few things that we need. Right, let's smash a few of these crates while we're here. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, this build, guys, you always need to be in the daytime to maximise it. So between 6am and 9pm. And you do about, one dagger hit will do about 2k damage. Your arrows will do about 500. And your magic would do upwards of like 5k or so. 
So yeah, it's really good build. Right, so what we're going to do now, guys, we are going to... What we'll do first of all, we'll talk to Olin Riesberg. We'll talk to him first. Shop. And what we're going to buy from him is we are going to... We're going to buy the Birch Guard. Just reading my notes. So Birch Guard times one. Yeah, Birch Guard times one. Come down and then you're going to buy the, all the, the leather set. You're going to buy every single piece. should be five. So leather brace times one. Leather chest piece times one. Leather headdress times one. Leather heel times one. And leather mitt times one. So you've bought all the leather mitts. Uh, sorry, all the leather pieces you've brought. And you've also brought the birch guard. So make sure you bought all them, guys. Once you've done that, come out. Go into your inventory. Level up. Right, we're going to level up now. So you want to put one into blacksmithing. So that should be on four now, guys. That should be maximum yeah so put one into blacksmith and then put three into de detect hidden put three into detect hidden put one into lock pick and put one into persuasion there we go so this is what you should end up with guys if you're not quite there exactly like i am it's because you've missed a trainer somewhere we'll confirm after that and here you need to put four into might. So I'm just going to go here. Skillful defense. Put four into that. Go into finesse. And here, you're going to put four into dagger mastery. In might, it doesn't really matter. But in finesse, put four into dagger mastery. Because that will increase the damage with your daggers. Yeah, so put four into dagger mastery. Very important. And then come into sorcery. And in sorcery, you're going to put five into storm bolt. Five into storm bolt. And then put six into sphere of protection and you can put one into mark of flame and one into conservative casting there we go and then confirm guys and then afterwards make sure you pick wayfarer so that gives one plus one to all skills and then confirm yeah so you should have done all of that correctly and afterwards come into inventory consumables and use the blacksmith's craft right that should put us at coming status skills that should put us at level 7 blacksmithing, as you can see, temporarily while the potion is active. So while that's active, come into the blacksmith altar, the forge, craft. Well, I try and do this slowly. So we'll come into weapons first. See the tabs at the top? Press L2 and R2 to go through them. So weapons, longbow. We've got birch limb, greater damaging fulcrum. Greater sailing rivets. We've got improved damage and bindings, and we've got gem of radiance. And then craft that, and that's basically what you're crafting. Give it a name if you want. You'll get a trophy. Mass of the forge. I'm just going to give it the general name, longbow. Yeah. <laughs> and you also get a trophy shop class. And then once you've done that, craft again, and then daggers this time. Small azurite blades. Greater flamed hilt. Greater sailing rivets. Improved damage and bindings, gem of radiance, and there, yeah, pick pick a name for it, and there we go, daggers. Craft again. This time, come into rogue armor. Basically, we're going to craft all of these now. But be careful with the armor. The armor we have to do something a little bit different with. So gloves. I'm going to go with gloves. Well, what we'll do, we'll do armor first. Get that one out of the way. So armor, leather chest piece, improved rigid lining. Improved damage and bindings, greater everlasting string. Now this is a bit. Make sure for the armor you pick the gem of the subjugator. You have two options there. Make sure you pick the gem of subjugator for the for the armor. You can only put this in the chest armor anyway. So gem of the subjugator on the chest armor. There we go. Yep. Once you've done that, craft again and then do all the rest. Gloves, leather mitt, improved damage and grip. Greater everlasting string, improved damage and bindings, gem of radiance. There we go, another one, another original name for myself. Rogue armor again, buckler, birch guard, improved damage and grip, great at sailing rivets, improved armor trim, gem of radiance. Bang, there we go, another one. We've done that craft, cap, leather headdress, improved armor to trim, improved damage and bindings, improved damage and grip, gem of radiance. And there we go, that's the hood. Right, craft, leggings, leather brace, 
greater everlasting strength, improved damage and bindings, improved damage and grip, gem off radiance, their legacy. I don't know why um, they're always in a different order. I don't know why. I mean recipes. I don't know why they all show up in different order. Just how it is. And last of all, guys, I've got to do boots, leather heel, improved armor trim, greater sailing rivets, improved damage and bindings, gem of radiance. And there we go. Phew. All that. We've done it, guys. We've done the build. The build is complete. Right. Let's get ready for battle. Inventory, weapons, primary, daggers, secondary, longbow, armor, head, chest, hands, legs, feet, shield, accessories, overwhelming medallion of shelter as a necklace, ring, ring of light, and noble band of growth for the extra XP. There we go, guys. The build is complete. Look at me. I don't look any different, do I? Well, I guess I've got clothes on now, but um, the armor doesn't look that um, powerful, does it? But yeah, you'll do tons of damage with this. Just make sure you're always in the daytime, guys. And obviously, if a piece gets damaged, because they do damage over time, just make sure you repair it. Yeah, I'm not going to show you how strong damage does. You'll see that in the next video. But yeah, you may just want to go. Be time I get in the meantime until I get the next video up, guys. You may just want to go and have a little play with this. You see how much damage you can do. It's pretty awesome. You can just press one square attack and you do 2,000 damage, and you won't take much damage either. You do take a little bit of damage. Um, you can't just stand there and be invincible. But that's something we'll do later. Yeah, later on we are going to make a 100% invincible build, but that'll be a bit later. For now, this is all we could do. So that's it, guys. Yeah, I know it's been a bit long. It could have been a lot quicker. But I wanted you to take you through it nice and steadily because there's a lot to take in there. You've got to make sure you do all in specific order. Like I say, if you want any more questions, guys, because some things I did leave some details out, ask me in the comments and I'll explain it all to you. But yeah, the overpowered build, guys, is ready. Next will be part four. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in part four, guys.